Welcome to the Eddie Hyatt Podcast. I am your host and teacher, Eddie Hyatt. We are going to continue discussing peace. God wants his people to walk in peace. How to live in God's peace in a world of turmoil. Today we're going to talk about letting peace be our guide. You know, I often hear from people, maybe with an email or whatever, and they're facing a decision and they're not sure uh, which way to go. And uh, a common answer I always give is follow the peace in your heart. Follow the peace. You see, God is called the God of peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace, a character of God of his nature and attribute of God is peace. The devil does not have any peace. The devil, a characteristic of of his attributes, is turmoil, upset, unrest. But God, with God there is peace. And so where God is at work, there will be peace. I will never forget Many years ago, Sue and I were traveling from Texas uh, back to New Brunswick, Canada after a visit to Texas, and uh, my uh, my in-laws, Sue's parents were with us, George and Chris Stubbs, and um, our first night on the road, uh, it was getting late, and people were getting tired and a little grumpy, and so we saw a hotel, so I pulled in, we got the last room, so I'm looking for a place to park, and and the regular parking is all full. I find that cars are parked out on the grass, and uh, so I find a place, and I start to pull in, and all of a sudden, the peace leaves my heart. It's like there are flashing red lights going off as I'm pulling into this space in between these cars out in the dark where there is no lighting. And it's like, no, no, don't do this. However, I allowed myself to be influenced because I knew that people were tired and were grumpy. And uh, so anyway, I ignored the fact that the peace had disappeared out of my heart. My friends, when you lose your peace, Walk softly. Begin to ask God, what is going on? What do I need to be aware of? Well, I ignored the fact that I, that my peace had left me. And we parked and we went in. We came out the next morning. Uh, this was a station wagon. It had been broken into. My very prized te- uh, Fender Telecaster electric guitar and hard shell case were gone. They'd been stolen. Uh, also, a... Uh, And, of course, this was in the day of reel-to-reel tape recorders. A friend had just given me a reel-to-reel tape recorder uh, with some really uh, unique uh, reel-to-reel tapes and so on. Those were all gone. What a tremendous loss I suffered because I did not listen to my heart and I did not listen to the fact that my peace had suddenly disappeared. This, this passage in Colossians 3.15 says, Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Uh, the Living Bible, here's how it says. It says, Let the peace of heart that comes from Christ be always present in your hearts and lives. Let the peace of Christ be always present. You see, in that situation I just told you about, man, it left, it disappeared. And it was because I needed to back up. I needed to to uh, go in another direction. I needed to do something different. Uh, The Amplified Bible, listen to this. And let the peace, the soul harmony, which comes from Christ, rule, act as umpire continually in your heart, deciding and settling with finality all questions that arise in your minds. Isn't that powerful? Let the peace that comes from Christ Act as umpire continually in your hearts, deciding and settling with finality all questions that arise in your minds. My friends, follow the peace. If you lose your peace, and I'm talking about 
I'm talking about a deep inner peace down in the core of your being. And, you know, we can have that kind of peace even in the midst of outward turmoil. And as you grow in the Lord, you will learn to recognize that deep inner settleness and peace that is from God. In um, Galatians 5.22, it is called a fruit of the Spirit. Now, the fruit of the Spirit, Paul says, is love, joy, peace. Fruit is something that grows. So as we grow in the Lord, the peace of God will become more and more a reality in our hearts. But also, that peace will be a criteria for us making decisions about life, making decisions in our everyday life. Follow the peace. Psalm 23, 2. He, uh, he makes me, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Still waters, literally in Hebrews, is waters of rest. And some translations translate that Hebrew word as peace, waters of peace. Uh, the, the New Living Translation says, He lets me lie down in green meadows. He leads me beside peace peaceful streams. Well, he's the God of peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So it's only reasonable that he would lead us in paths of peace. He would lead us beside peaceful streams. In fact, it says in Luke chapter 1, verse 79, it says that God will guide our feet into the way of peace. All my friends, let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Let the peace of God be the umpire that helps you make your final decisions about all questions that arise in your minds. Let the peace of God guide you today. I'm Eddie Height. This is the Eddie Height Podcast. Check out my website, eddiehyatt.com. A lot of resources there that will bless you and help you. There is a, uh, a bookstore there, a link to a blog and to a, a YouTube channel. And um, if I can be a blessing to you, if these podcasts are a blessing, hey, send me an email. My email is there on my homepage, eddiehyatt.com. My email address is there. You can just click on it, send me an email, let me know if these are being a blessing to you. And I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.